Krishan, darling. Krishan, sweetheart. You need to slow down, sweetheart, please. For your good as well as Junior's good. You know, again, I, I talked about how I see some parallels. And I know, and the reason why I'm coming is because I saw, you know, I'll go on the YouTube and I see this on my timeline that, you know, Blueface is, you know, threatening to file for custody. That may or may not be true. But what I will tell you is this. I can identify with that because when I was, you know, my daughter's father at the time, he had a whole bunch more money than me and uh, seemingly more support than me. And when I didn't do things the way that he wanted me to do them, he would threaten to take my child from me. He would threaten to, you know, sue me for custody. Um, and I wouldn't say anything. I would just take my ass right down to the courthouse <laughs> and do what I needed to do to file the paperwork. And this was before we got married. So once we got married and divorced, and of course the things are a little bit different once you're married and then you get divorced. And he would do those things too to try to block me from doing what I needed to do because by this time I was on in the military full time and try to block me from doing what I needed to do even though I was the primary care provider, but he wanted to stop me from going to where I needed to go as far as in my career and stuff like that. So he would threaten me to take, to take our daughter for custody. And again, I wouldn't say nothing. You know, he had more money than me. He could afford all these lawyers. I just marched my ass right on down to the, <laughs> to the courthouse and filed my documents. Honey, you need to you, you you're talking too much. You're talking too much. I've had several people over the course of my life who have had similar situations, whether they've been married or just dealt with, you know, visitation with their children's father and it got contentious. And I would say you need to quit talking to them. Until there is something in writing, you need to always assume that you're being recorded. Well, it's obvious because you're recording yourself, okay? So I would encourage you, somebody need to get this to her. Quit talking to him. Quit talking to him. And another thing, here's an, your baby can feel your energy. They feel it. I didn't think it was true, but every time I would get ready to have to leave for a training or whatever, I swear my child would get sick. It's like she knew I was getting ready to leave. They feel it. That's why they tell you when you're pregnant, be careful because everything you feel, that child feels, and the connection is still there once they get here. You need to, at this point, you need to be as stress-free as possible because your emotions are going to be on the roller coaster because all those hormones that were gearing up while you were pregnant, they they about to uh, do the opposite now. So you're going to have a flood of emotion that you co coming at you from all different directions. All different directions. And I'm going to say to you what my boss said to me a long time ago. Don't give people ammunition to use against you. And... You know, I'm not saying that he's the enemy, but when I was uh, dealing with my daughter's father during those times, I looked at it very strategically. As far as my military background, I, I made preemptive strikes. Okay. The one who strikes first wins, generally. Okay. Generally. Honey, and another thing, sweetheart. You are doing too much too soon. You shouldn't be exercising like that right now that hard. Girl, do you understand that you, you, you just pushed out a human being? <laughs> do, do you know? I'm, that was major surgery kind of like. A major, a, a, no, not kind of like. It was a major life event. Babe, you got to give yourself some time. You got to give yourself some time. You know, somebody get this to her. <laughs> get this to her. You do not need to give him and his family ammunition. You need to make sure. So every time, you know, even though my husband, my ex-husband at the time had more money 
but because my stuff was always stable, you know, home life stable, even though I was in the military, you know, and more of the time I represented myself because I didn't have the money for a lawyer. But I went into court with my ducks in, in order and they could see how my child was being provided for. Even though I was a military mom, I provided a stable life for her. So I'm going to, I'm really, I, I beseech you. If you are filming your life, kind of like the Kardashians, somebody wrote that in my comments, that's one thing. But when it comes for the fight, when it comes to the fight for your child and your sanity, that needs to be kept offline. Once you get through it and you get on the other side, you can tell people how you got over. Because everything is discoverable, honey. Everything. New levels mean new devils. I'm not calling your baby's father a devil, but you got a, you got a, you got a junior now. He's feeding off of you literally, literally and figuratively. Okay? I'm rooting for you, young mom. But you're going to have to do some different things. And that means you need to sit, you don't need to quit talking to him for a while. Until you get stronger. Take that with you.